My name is Rishika and I am from class 8 CBSC, Nashadev International School and I am representing my science model on rainwater harvesting. Rainwater harvesting is a technique used for the conservation of water. In this technique, rainwater that has fallen on the roof of houses or buildings is collected in storage or underground tank through the help of pipes. This also help us recharge the groundwater level. Hello, my name is Mansi. I am an 8th standard from Asha Devi International School and I am representing my project on theme wastewater purification. So I will explain the wastewater purification working model. Wastewater can be generated from individual houses and even from the factory. Whatever the waste which is getting from the factory that it is going to store in this way or we are going to lift this water for purification. Here the water is going to be lifted from water pump to this purification station. Where the purification station is made up of we have a big stone gravel we have put it in one container and another container we have small stone gravel and we have a coal and we have a natural sand is there in another container and last container we have a tissue paper and this container where we are going to store the purified water is getting purified out of this five stage water purification method now we are going to demonstrate how this purification really work in this model by pumping the waste water to the purification station now we are going to switch on the motor so that water is going to pump to the purification station So that water is going to first on big stone gravel container and second the small stone gravel and third coal and fourth natural sand and fifth tissue paper. Tissue paper and this water is purified is going to this container where this water is purified and going to the water storage tank. Now we are going to get the complete purified water by following these five stages water purification and finally that water we can use for car cleaning and even for gardening is purified water for all these various purpose tanks. Hello, my name is Kushi. I am an 8th standard from Ashadeva International School, Sadalpur Churu. Now, I am representing my project on the theme drip irrigation. Drip irrigation is also known as trickle irrigation. Drip irrigation is the most efficient water and nutrient delivery system. It delivers water and nutrients directly to the plant's root zone in the right amount at the right time. So, each plant gets what it exactly needs when it needs to be grow optimally. In short words, the goal of drip irrigation is to, is to place water directly into the root zone and minimize evaporation now i am depicted how am i simulate a drip irrigation model in a different way so basically if we can see that there is a plastic jar which am i used to cover with color paper that indicated as well then we put a motor in it which pumps the water from the well to the water tank uh, now then from there we put our drip line which supplies the water to all plants by drop by drop manner so i am now i am showing you by switching on the motor uh, how the exactly water pump from the well to the water tank now I am switching on you see that the water is getting filled from the well to the water tank the water is going drop by drop to all the plants in drop by drop manner thanks hello my name is Deepika and I am from class 8 CBSC from school Ashadev International School Sadalpur Churu and here I am presenting a project on solar energy. When we produce electricity by other mediums, we burn coal and uraniums that cause air pollution. But solar is a type of solar produce electricity without any pollution. We can produce light by solar. It can't do any Ill air pollution. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jia. I am from class 8 CBSE, Aisha Devi School, Sadalpur Churu. And I am making a project on Save Earth and Save Life. At atmosphere is the surrounding in which we live. It includes both living and non-living beings, like things, the air, water, soil. The environment is responsible for maintaining the perfect life cycle in our environment increasing global warming then we don't should air pollution water pollution don't cut plants and don't cut animals for hunting only human can take the intuitive save the environment we need to remember by saving environment our we only saving ourselves thank you
हेलो माय नेम इज काजोल आई एम क्लास इज एट आर बी सी माई स्कूल नेम इज आशा देवी इंटरनेशनल स्कूल शादुलपुर चूर माई टॉपिक नेम इज वॉटर फिल्ट्रेशन कलेक्शन टैंक इज फिल्ट्रेशन टैंक वेल वेन आई फील द वॉटर कलेक्शन वॉटर गो इज फिल्ट्रेशन प्रोसेस डन बाय द द वॉटर सप्लाई इन टू द व्हील पेस क्लास एट्थ इनाशा देवी इंटरनेशनल स्कूल एंड इट्स माय साइंस प्रोजेक्ट इट इज अ वर्किंग मॉडल ऑफ सोलर पैनल when i will press this button the, the light will be started and whenever the push, press red, this button the red light will be start and whenever the push press this button the motor will be started